As the days went on, I cycled through depression, anger, and finally, acceptance. I was preparing to die and making peace with death, knowing that we live on through what we leave behind. But what was I leaving behind? What would be my legacy? Hi guys, welcome to my channel. We're doing your reading. Good morning, good morning. Before we start, one, I met someone yesterday. No, not that kind of someone. <laughs> okay, a follower. <laughs> Her name is Samantha. Hi, how are you? And you are such a hoot. You are so sweet. Okay, just like a Gemini. <laughs> so, hi. Okay, I was crossing the street as always. Now, I wasn't at the corner of the street. I was crossing the street. Big difference. Okay, <laughs> that's my past life. Okay, <laughs> how are you? So, um, also for the Gemini, someone is very special to me is celebrating um, the solar return. Okay, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so, happy birthday. And I know sometimes you watch me. No, probably you don't because you don't even talk to me. <laughs> you ignore me. Okay. <laughs> happy birthday. <laughs> okay. Mm hmm. Mm. So, there's going to be a bunch of announcements, so you can speed up, okay? But if you like my chit-chatty vibe, you know, it's because the dailies, we go fast. Here, we kind of um, uh, give some updates. Um, there's a petition for Sal to go live, and it has been going to be approved, will be, um, on IG, okay, on Instagram. So, somewhere out there, okay, it says, at Sal Biodora, follow me. Um, so, if we reach, because uh, I don't know if people are real there. You know, that's the thing with, uh, with Instagram. So, um, if, uh, you, you know, it's like we did our first IG story reading. Amazing. So, check it out. Think, think of your question first before you go there. Don't watch it. Okay. And then, um, but I want to go, uh, we want to go live by 100,000. So, if we reach that goal, assumingly, then people would be, real people will be watching uh, once I go live. So, um, but I'll be continuously doing the IG story. Okay, and then we'll start doing live there because I know everybody is asking, said no one, no, for reals. I know people were asking and I shall give it to the people who has helped me grow my channel because a Gemini are one of those. Okay, so Gemini, let's start with your Carter and C. Okay, and then we'll do the tarot. Are we ready to get lit, Gemini? Are we ready? So here we go. Let's begin. Hmm. I just had to call my TITS before I start because sometimes I have so much energy. Okay. Here we go. Oh, it's just my aura, I think. Oh, it's a sun mantra right now. That's good. Sun is in Gemini. Here we go. Nine of clubs. Huh. Where is this going? Okay. I feel like something electrocuting, like zzz, you know, a feeling, nerves, revive, it's alive, you know, this is what I'm hearing here. Um, if it's like a dead kind of connection, I think it got resuscitated, you know, with the uh, whatever, the uh, defibrillator, whatever, okay. I have lip injections, so I can't talk, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> it's my accent, defibrillator, okay, so like... So the person was dead, the relationship was dead, and then here he, she comes, the bro come at me again, messaging me, talking about how we have this dynamic connection, and then is alive. So, as always, if it's dead, then it's a Scorpio. <laughs> okay. But if not, I, it can be like a connection that's been going for so long, and then, you know, oh, all right, you know. So you wake up to the situation also, you wake up to the... To the connection nine of clubs alrighty okay so let's let's proceed now to your tarot for people who are wondering what tarot I use as always is, since you guys are wondering Thelema and it's at the description box so if you like if you like this okay. people have so much questions let's see here for my Gemini 
Four of Cups, lonely and missing someone. This can be your other person. Um, waiting for that love, waiting for tonight, is what I say. So it's almost like a countdown, year 2000, J-Lo, okay? That's, that, that's, that's when she did that song, right? Um, love that song. She's serving yeah, J-Lo. She probably has a Gemini because she doesn't grow old. Either that or she's a vampire. We don't know, okay? So Four of Cups energy here. Um, you could be like, uh, you know, missing the good old days. Three of Cups, you're looking at the Three of Cups. It's like, oh, I remember when we used to go out. But remember, this is a, it's not nostalgia six of cups where looking at good memories. This is like feeling really, really down. And then you're just looking at pictures and, I don't know, candy wrappers. I don't know, the old movie ticket, the concert ticket or pictures even. Uh, but there's no energy for you to connect. You're just going to be like sitting there or they're doing this. Looking and doing nothing. That's that one. Okay, Four of Cups. Let's see here. Next to the Four of Cups. You have coins, so I'd rather be busy than, you know, keep thinking about this person. So, you know, it's like they haven't gotten in touch with me, blah, 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 blah. Okay, because the three of, uh, three of Coins is like you are just making use of your time um, in a fifth house kind of way. So let me just see here, since I have the chart anyway. Okay. Um, fifth house energy for you. One, two, three, four, five. Libra energy. Okay, so it could be connecting with um, what? Other people. Yes, because seventh house is other people also. Um, natural seventh. If I, uh, okay, so don't get confused. Um, so you could be outsourcing something. Uh, like instead of talking to the person that you miss, you talk to other people so that you don't think about them. Um, so this is basically like in denial of one's emotions and feelings, okay? Okay, because if it's a song, it's just emotions taking me over, right? You know, the Saturday we have concerts here also, Gemini, right? Okay, so here we go. It's free, so sit down, okay? <laughs> here we go, judgment, um, wanting to reconcile. Of course, the Scorpio always comes out with a Gemini. This copy comes out to everyone anyway. <laughs> they like that. <laughs> okay. Um, reconnecting with you. Um, this is also like, you know what? Um, this is a decision that I have to make right now. And this is about, um, you know, it was a good call for me just to explore um, life. So you could be um, doing something creative in your life right now. And this is what's best. Um, judgment is them, I feel like, trying to get in touch with you. So it's good also that you ignore that feelings. I know it's terrible, but I think it's good, all right? <laughs> so take it with a grain of salt. Like you didn't cave in to the neediness. Geminis are not needy, I don't think so. And no, I don't think so ever. <laughs> Said no Gemini, needy, no, nah, not at all. Yeah, fun, yes, needy, no. Scorpio, needy. <laughs> Here we go, next to the judgment. Seven of Cups, they've been thinking about you. <laughs> okay, long distance relationship. Uh -huh. Because look at that one. Because I'm dreaming on a jet plane. No, I'm kidding. That's not the song I know. <laughs> That's a mix of living on a jet plane and because I'm, cause I'm dreaming. I was like, because I'm dreaming. See, now I can't pick up the lyrics. On a jet. No, come back, lyrics. Okay, so someone is. Dreaming of you tonight till tomorrow, right? I'll be holding you tight. There you go. When there's no one in, in the world, I'd rather see both of you. I feel like both of you suck at love, yeah, because it's like, why don't you guys talk? Why don't you guys express that both of you want to work in the relationship and both of you want to commit? Mm -hmm. Instead of mixing Sal's lyrics, just saying. Okay, here we go. Let's see. Okay, that's a collab. Okay, <laughs> from those two artists. Let's see. It's a mashup for the kids. That's what they call. Eight of Cups. Huh. This is an emotional heartache because someone is so sad that they left you or you left them. Someone here, like they know you're their dream. But they have to go somewhere else, and they're not get, they're not happy. Wherever they are right now, whatever sole purpose that they are going through, they're not happy. <laughs> it's 
It's just like, they long, they miss, they want to be with you. But it's just like, I got to do this for myself. Okay? It's almost like Armageddon. Like, um, remember that movie? Uh, and then he was supposed to go save the planet. But she, he knows and she knows. They just got married and they have a kid. And then, you know, but you know, the world is more important. So something is more important. They're calling. Okay? Bruce Willis died. Ben Affleck uh, was the one, right? Mm, that kind. So someone had to leave you and they're not happy. Or you left someone, they're not happy. Chariot, but they're coming back. <laughs> they're coming back. Okay? But when they come back, they're totally different now. They're a chariot. I feel like whatever that they have to go, they got, they got to do it first. And they come back to you victorious. Okay? Can be a cancerium. So I'm going to continue this reading as both are in separation. Coming back right now. Let's see where it's going. Have a wonderful, wonderful day, Gemini. And I'll see you guys again. Bye. You can't change how the universe made you. People don't change. People can't change. The same way you can't change your destiny. You will be where you are meant to be and you will become who you are meant to become. But divination cards, crystals, and guided meditation coupled with understanding and acceptance of who you are will help you make your journey happy and fruitful. That's what all this is about, to help people get to where they want to be. A journey that is remarkable. After all, a destiny is where the sweet end lies. There is nothing that follows after that but your journey. That happens every day. In the end, that's what counts. Take, for example, an impatient person. You can never be patient. You can change how you respond to people who are testing your patience. But you cannot be patient by nature. Perfect example would be in an office. There is no getting away from people that whines or complains or criticize just for the sake of criticizing. There will always be gossips and people who can't seem to just mind their own business. This is when we tap to the energy of the universe and the energy of nature. These are things that we have been given. Pyrite is for calming down. Rose quartz to fight aggression. Hematite for the mind. The other thing to consider is that you can't always surround yourself with these crystals when you are working. That's why we make accessories. The energy stays with you all the time. Eat, read, love accessories are both to make us feel and look beautiful. Crystals and accessories are also cleansed and charged. A rose quartz is a crystal of love. But love may be attached to so many other intentions. When I charge crystals, I amplify it with a specific intention. There are also many places in the U.S. or in the world, for that matter, that has a vortex or forces, but there are very few that have the purest of energy. My home prior to L.A. was Santa Fe, and it was that energy that made that final push for me to where I am right now and what I do. Tibet and the Philippines also have those energies. Meditation is almost a daily activity for me. While my body rests and recharges when I sleep, my soul recharges when I meditate. It is when I meditate that I truly see who I am and what is really in my soul. I encourage everyone to do the same. The fact is that nothing in this world can make your life better or can make you better unless you allow yourself to be better. And I am here as your guide but nothing will work unless you allow it to work. So it starts with you. You may not be able to change your destiny. You may not be able to change who you are, but you can always control your journey.